as a little size comparison. This is Throne of Glass, and this is Kingdom of Ash.
generous with the four stars. Five stars I'm a little less generous with, um, but I'm pretty generous with the four stars just because I don't know if any of you guys are this way, but even if a book is not my favorite, uh, I still get attached to the characters and their stories and personalities, and I just can't bear to give it a three unless I really don't like it. <laughs> but I gave this a four. Just because I, I struggled to get through this. Just because I kind of got bored with it. Um, but if you like YA books, this is a, a big favorite. I just, um, I've, re I've discovered I really like new adult books, so. But this was, it was still good, was it? I wouldn't say it was bad. series, but it's white. 
fantasy and romance. All of these are fantasy and romance, pretty much. Um, it's new adult. It gets spicier as it goes on. fan 
second one in 
his perspective might be out. Um, but I rated this like a four because I I liked it. Um, just wasn't my favorite. I got invested in the char characters, liked it. It just wasn't a five for me. Pretty spicy though. Um, there's a touch of ruin and a touch of malice. And then Hades is a game of fate. I'm not sure if she's coming out with a fourth from Persephone's perspective. Maybe. Moving on from that series, we have the Plated Prisoner series. We have Guild Gleam. No, Guild Glint and Gleam. I don't have Guild with me because I have loaned it out. I've loaned it out um, because this is another in my top five. This is the fourth series in my top five. Obsessed. Love this. Um, this, when I finished the third book, I was so, so sad there wasn't more. Um, this isn't finished. The fourth book comes out in May of 2022. It's called, I can't remember. I just 
just was like, this author, this author gets me. We like the same things in our books. Um, it's just, it's so, so good. Um, this follows Brexley. Uh, and it's just, it's good. Let me read the back. Almost 20 years after the barrier. Sorry, it's going out of uh, focus, you guys. I'll, I'll do some hand movements while I read. <laughs> Almost 20 years after the barrier between Earth and the other world fell in the Fey Wars, Budapest is balancing on the precip precipice. A battle for dominance is brewing among the elite Fey and the privileged humans in Eastern Europe. Prejudice between the sides is bubbling with hate and violence. Nineteen-year-old human Brexley has grown up in privilege, but not without heartbreak. After being orphaned, she is taken in by General Marcos. Living in a walled city, rife with power grabs and ruthless political games. The one night the course of her life changes and Brexley is thrown into the most feared prison in the East, Hella House. The house of death, where you go in but don't come out. She must learn to live with the worst of fey and human criminals. The rule of hierarchy puts humans in the bottom, on the bottom, where the only way to survive each day is to make alliances with the fey. Here she meets the sexy, vicious legend Warwick Farkas, a myth among man and fae. He is as brutal, cruel, arrogant, and as lethal as the lore says he is, ruling the prison with unchallenged authority. Brexley can't deny an intense draw to him, one that might cost her her life if the games don't take her out first, a fight to the death where only one survives. This is chef's kiss. Um, there is Savage Lands, Wild Lands, Bad Lands, and Dead Lands. Now, Dead Lands just came out the other week. I just read it. Uh, couldn't get enough of it. Read it in two days. And Bloodlands Book 5 comes out this winter. I want to say in December or, no, it's January, I think. January 2022. Um, so excited. I do not know how Stacy gets these books out so fast, but I'm not complaining. I'm so grateful for it. Absolutely amazing. And, um, so this book, I found this on TikTok. No one on TikTok mentions that they're in this world, um, that Stacy has created. There's like 16 books before this book in this world. You can start with this series for the world. Um, that's what I did. I started with this. And then there's the darkness series, the collector series, and the lightness series that comes before this series. Sorry if this is confusing. Um, and each series follows a different girl. Try to explain this in a way that hopefully is not confusing. So, um, on a timeline, um, there's, uh, the first series is the Darkness series. So the first book of that is Darkness of Light, okay? This follows, um, Ember, okay? Love, love this series. I have finished the series, okay? Again, on a timeline, there are four books following Ember, um, and then there's one book at the end following West, still a part of the Darkness series. This is very good as well. So we have the Darkness series with Ember. The second one follows Zoe, um, and this is the Collector series. I'm on book two. I'm almost finished with it. So far, I really, really like it. And then the third series is the Lightness series. This follows Kennedy. This is the first book, The Crown of Light. Okay. Um, and then, then there's the Savage Land series. This is the one I started with, but that's
that's kind of on a timeline of things, so it makes if it makes sense because it, it gets kind of confusing. Um, but it's it's awesome. The Darkness series. I read it so fast, and I am obsessed with Ember. That I that series was so good. Um, but yes. Um, so let me show you what I'm currently reading. video with me just talking about the book I'm currently reading. Um, I'm on the second book in the Lightness series. It's The Barrier Between. Um, really good so far. Um, this is uh, the series that I'm thinking about getting hardbacks in, but also Stacy. Um, so the Darkness series that I just read. Um, she posted that she's coming out with new covers for the darkness and um, the collector series, not the lightness. Those covers are staying the same. The darkness series is getting new covers and some. she's making it more new adult. She's adding some spicier or changing some scenes to make them a little more spicy. Um, so if you're interested in reading these books, which I a thousand percent recommend, um, you might want to wait till, I believe it's October 28th, um, that's when those all come out. You can look at our Instagram, I believe it's just Stacy Marie Brown. Um, but I'm thinking about getting those two series, I'm thinking about reordering those books with the new covers, um, because they're my favorite, and this paperback, like, half of the pages are all falling out. It's really hard to see on camera. I mean, I can just take a page out. I would, I would be reading. Let me start. I'd be reading this. Of course, I find a cluster. to 
fantasy romance author, which I, I doubt you're probably still here, but if, or watching my video, but if you are and you want me to read your book, 